hi everybody welcome back to today's video i'm going to show you how to create this real quick let's step into photoshop and show you how to do it okay so now let's go to file let's go to new then let's open um this new document dimension it's going to be 2000 it's going to be 2000 it's going to be 300 you're going to call it mother's day poster right and i'm going to click on create the other important thing is we need to make sure our alignment is epic and it's really set so we're going to go to new cast layout you're going to set it to let's just say six and then here's six and then 0 0.3 across board and then click on ok and so this is how you're going to start it and the first thing is the background a pre-made background that i've already made let's go place embedded let's go and pick it okay okay now I, I didn't really create this background i downloaded it from iStock images okay so Let's put it in the group control g then let's call it bg okay so now it's as simple as that right simple background let's go to place embedded again and then let's go and pick our image okay so this is the image i have already retouched it a little bit to make it crisp so um let's put it also in a group let's call it images right so these two are already set for us the other thing we want to do is to start typing so i'm going to type here and then i'm going to pick the the font right the details right so i'm going to pick mothers copy it and then i'm going to go there and i'm going to paste it all right and i'm going to open this side now i don't want it to be um this font i'm going to use impact okay so impact regular i also feel like the font size is ridiculously too much i'm going to set it to 110 so that i can really see what is happening i'm going to drag it somewhere here now we can see what is happening now we also want to make it italics because we want this to be a little bit different and creative about it i'm going to set it tracking to minus 20 okay enter let's see a little compacted nice all right now the color code Let's give it a simple color code A04700. Okay, now I picked this color from the background. Okay, so it shouldn't be a little something like this is quite good. I think something like this is quite good. So, this is what you're going to do you're going to drag it underneath the image, then control T, and then let's just tweak it like that. You feel me? So, something like this, I believe, is in the right way. It looks interesting looks epic enter now i'm going to duplicate it Control j to duplicate it double click it and then d a y right happy mother's day so but i feel like reducing the font size here to around 80 or 70 something you feel me and i'm going to drag it in there a little bit i also feel like whoever is will know it is it is a uh, you know mother's day that is type over here then i'm going to click over here and then i'm going to use this color code i'm going to use 37 1 3 0 1 okay dark color i love it i think this is good i'm going to click over here as well then i'm going to pick happy i'm going to paste it there now we don't want it to be one way throughout if it's one way throughout it's going to look a little bit boring so these are all you know common sans serif fonts let's use a brush font or a script font okay and what comes into my mind right now is autographia i'm going to use autographia thing for the meantime let's drag it somewhere here i think thing is too much let's use medium let's see let's use medium good okay we're using medium but I also feel like we need to work on it a little bit. I'm going to set here to 86, make it a little bit bigger. Nice, 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 nice. And then, guys, one more thing. Let's come to the color code. Let's use 6C2400. Okay, that is it. Control T, and then let's rotate it a bit more, and then let's drag it in there. I think this does the trick, right? So let's drag it here to maybe in the middle somewhere here i feel like this is way better all right but it also needs to look much more dynamic so whatever trick you have up your sleeves just use it i'm going to give it drop shadow effect but i'm going to give it a different kind of drop shadow effect okay now that's why you should be watching this video we're going to set this side to normal okay you're going to apply drop shadow in a different way i'm going to click here. i'm going to set it to white nice and then opacity i'm going to set it all the way to 100 the angle here i'm going to set the angle to 141 
and then the distance here i'm going to use 15 and then this side spray let's use zero and then size here let's use 24 okay and then let's click on okay so drop shadow set it to color white and then this is how it looks like now we're going to put everything here in the group we're going to call it mother's day okay so i feel like this is enough but we still need to add more details to it let's click somewhere here let's start typing okay we're going to be typing these details okay and this happens to be the note that we want to give the person and for that i'm going to be using Montserrat. i'm going to use any of the Montserrat's here i'm working on it later on so um we're going to be using Montserrat. let's set it to bold here good let's reduce the font size drastically to 13 it should be small but it can still be seen i feel like we can see it so let's drag it on top of the image now we can see it click on the move to move it somewhere here this looks quite good this looks quite nice but let's go to paragraph and then let's go to left aligned drag it there again still looks good right um here go to this side let's set it to 17 nice nicely spaced minus 20 here um let's see what i can set to color black here also italics here nice now let's go and bring in our notes place embedded let's go and bring in our notes here click on it interesting drag it somewhere here this looks good to me i'll drag it underneath it then i'm going to change the color of the text to color black i'm going to drag it in there and then Control T and then rotate it. All right, so that is it. I think this is way better. Right now, we are not done with it. Let's go to file, place embedded again. To make it realistic, we need to add this pen to it. Okay, and then enter. Now let's click on our move tool and then move it somewhere here. I feel like now this looks quite realistic. Now I'm going to put it in a group and then we're going to call all of it notes. We're still not yet done about it. We need to add some glues to it. Okay, glues make it add some few values, um, levels it up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to click here. I'm going to set it to screen. Okay, for now. But I feel like I should increase it a bit more. I'm also going to click there again. I'm going to drag it somewhere here. Yes. Good. I'm going to duplicate it again. Um, let's see how we can work around that okay so i think that is also good it makes it realistic I like the way it looks for the meantime it looks great it looks great we can even duplicate it again and drag it somewhere around here reduce the opacity to around 50 something and then reduce decrease the size a bit more drag it somewhere there I think this looks great okay let's put it all in a group and then let's call it what let's call it glow now we can also bring in our logos let's go please embed it let's go and pick our logo place it there enter drag it all the way up okay yeah pretty much it put it in a group call it logo now everything looks good everything looks nice right so this is the right time to start working on the colors Control alt shift and then e to merge everything together we're just going to go to the blending modes and set it to soft light now i feel like this is already good and great but we still need to level up more let's go to um vibrance and then this is per your own discretion move just the vibrance all the way there then that is it we are done so guys if you love this video hit the bell icon subscribe to this channel don't forget there are more videos coming up don't want you to miss it subscribe hit the bell icon comment peace out